Hey guys, Michelle here from Sparkle Me Pink and today I want to talk to you about a couple of Studio Gear products that I've been trying out. They did send these to me to try out and review for you guys, but as you know, all of these comments, experiences, everything I talk about is 100% of that of my own and you can trust everything that I'm saying. I'm very real and open and honest and I hope that that comes across with my videos and posts. The first thing I got to try out was their mascara and this is just the trial size. The regular size is just normal, you know, tube. And this is the Studio Gear Impactful Pro TLS Mascara. Looks like that. And I actually was just in Ulta today and saw this there. They have the whole line of Studio Gear products. So if you have an Ulta near you, check it out. Um, and I'll talk about that a little bit later in the video as well. And this is what the brush looks like. It is... There we go. Um, the bristles are like a hair bristle, not a synthetic. I don't know if hair is the right word for it, but... Um, I really like that it's not a synthetic brush and it also has that curvature where it's like straight and then it goes like in a little bit and then out and it really gets the outer corner of my eyelashes really well. I'll throw a little bit extra on right now. <laughs> I love this formula and I'm definitely going to be getting the full size of this product soon. The next thing I got to try out was the, the Studio Gear Invincible Gel Eyeliner. This one is in graphite. It comes in like a little dish like this. This is what it looks like in the tube. Now this, it's not going to stick to the, the water line, which is a good and a bad thing. I kind of use it to my advantage to where I use like my angled brush like this and I'll put it on the water line, but since it won't stick, it kind of like glides to like right on my lash line so it's kind of like a precision eyeliner like it's I don't know if that's making any sense at all but it kind of just gets this lower lash line and gives it a really straight line rather than me like if I don't want to do like a smoky eye look underneath so it's like perfect for that it is a lovely color let me dip in here a little bit you can see it's very creamy and I really love this color. I decided to get it in the graphite, which is sort of like a grayish color, grayish black. I believe that there's a true black as well. Um, so I might pick that one up as um, as well because it wears really nicely as like a, like it's really easy to do a wing because if you mess up, you just kind of like take your finger and fix it up. Um, let me wipe off my brush because I also have my Mica Beauty Cosmetics, which is another cream gel liner and as you see this is the consistency of that one which is much more of a thicker grippier formula um, as you can see right there um, this one right here is also a, a true black so try not to concentrate too much on the color differences but you can see like the texture um, is a little bit different and a little stiffer with the Mica Beauty versus the Studio Gear. This one is much more creamier and a little more moldable. Um, once it sets, it sets. It's there all day. I really, really like this stuff. I believe it comes in a purple too, and I really, I want to check that out if they have a purple because I like to line my water waterline or um, like underneath the lash line here with like a dark blue or a purple. So if they have one of those. I'm going to be getting that. Let me clean myself. And the last product I got to try was one of their lip glosses. And this is the Studio Gears um, Luscious Lip Shine in Innocent. Innocent is the color name. And it looks like this. And it's got a bit of a sparkle into it. But it doesn't come across when you put it on the lip. I actually applied it earlier. Let's see. It's got just a little hint of color, like a little hint of pink, and it's not sticky at all. I really like this lip gloss, like a lot, like a lot, a lot. And it's got a little bit of a minty peppermint 
kind of like smell. I don't know. I can't really place what it is, but it kind of reminds me of Christmas, which I strangely I have this in my I Heart Spring favorites because even though it remind the scent reminds me of Christmas, I believe I feel like the color is just a dewy, pretty pink and is perfect for spring. This could probably go into summer too because it's not too bright and obnoxious, but it's not too deep like a Christmassy winter color. Um, I want to check out and see if there's like another like nude, like maybe a brown or a sandy color. Um, so I'm going to be looking at that probably later tonight. Also, I, like I was talking about before, they do sell these products at Ulta. So if you have one near you, check it out and you can kind of like, you know, play with the testers a little bit and see what color is good for you. They have a whole line of brushes, um, foundations, concealers, eyeshadows, all that kind of stuff too. Um, I haven't gotten to play around with any of them, so I don't really have a say on them yet, but I plan on checking them out. Um, like I was saying, check out Ulta, but then go home and check it out online because I have a special exclusive code where you can get a discount of 10% off. Plus there's always free shipping with studio gear. So that is an amazing deal. You're not going to get 10% off at Ulta. This is in the like the fancy schmancy side of Ulta, like where they have like Urban Decay and Tarte and all that stuff where you can't use their normal like 350 off 10 or 5 off 10 coupons. So the only way to get a discount is to use my coupon code which is sparkle me pink 10 check that out and let me know what you get in the comments below um, also let me know if you do pick these things up and get to try them what you think about them you know comment on the blog comment on here I want to hear what you think and let me know if there's any products that you want me to try or have any requests for um, make sure you check out my Facebook Twitter Instagram, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.